Yes, sir. Okay. Good. <clears throat> Okay. Ready? Yeah, we are live. Okay, good morning, everybody. So today is November 26th, and yesterday was Thanksgiving Day, but uh, I'd like to say that Thanksgiving is not just a day in a year, it's a daily event. So we'd like to start with that. And of course, we need to talk about our little mantra, which we've modified with Dan's input and what we've fiddled with it. The slaughterhouse of failure is not in our destiny. We will persevere with passion until we succeed. So there we've modified Ogmandina to make it a team thing and not just about, about one. So <clears throat> about Thanksgiving, I want to I want to just say something that I I don't want to sound corny but you know one of the a teacher asked a kid tell me about the seven wonders of the world and the kid said well I can see I can hear I can taste I can feel I can smell I can think I can love we take all that for granted those are things we just take for granted. And really, we should really be thankful for that, for those things and everything else that we've got every day. And not just think about, you know, material things once a year and getting together with family and all that, which is great. But it's once a year. This is a daily event. So I just wanted to start with that. And also, I would like to give special thanksgiving in this case <clears throat> on, a more, on a more personal basis. Um, you know, Dan Burke had, had stage three colon cancer this year. And you think about that and you think, wow. And he actually overcame that. He had an attitude from the very beginning the whole point of today, we're going to talk about um, gratitude is the attitude. And, you know, Dan had had this cancer last year. And for most of the year, he's been battling it, but he's never missed a beat. He's never missed a day. He's been here. Sometimes he felt like hell, but sometimes, and, but he was always here. And, you know, I just wanted to give real gratitude and thanksgiving to the powers that be that Dan is here with us. Um, and so many other people that have overcome very serious challenges. A lot of people had COVID and overcame that, you know. And, and the fact that we're still here as a team and we're able to go forward and we're able to look with enthusiasm and with positivity these are just some things that I wanted to kind of start off with today, Ben. Thanks, Lawrence. You know, as you said, Thanksgiving shouldn't just be something that we, we do once a year. Um, it should be something that we celebrate on a daily basis. And so I read a great quote yesterday from Zig Ziglar, the greatest source of happiness is the ability to be grateful at all times. Yeah. You know, and, and so, so someone with an attitude of gratitude as Lawrence is calling us, makes, makes it a habit to focus on the things that really matter in their life, the positive things that really matter, expressing thankfulness and appreciation uh, for the limitless opportunities that we have, especially here in the United States and Canada. You know, we have, we have limitless opportunities, the, the land of opportunity, right? Um, and we need to be thankful for that on a daily basis. A lot of people don't have those same possibilities that we have here in the States. Um, we don't have to worry about food. We don't have to worry about water, <laughs> clean drinking water. We don't, most of the time, we don't need to worry about our safety. You know, all of these things that we take for granted are things that people all over the world have, and even in the United States, worry about on a daily basis, right? And so, you know, these things can have a positive impact by, by being grateful and appreciative and, and having gratitude for these positive things in our lives can have, a, a really big influence on our business and our, and our daily lives. 
uh, you know, focusing on those positive things and not the negative things. I, I don't watch the news because there's just too much negativity, right? And, and once you start get, letting that negativity into your daily life, then things start, can start to spiral out of control, right? And, and when you keep that positivity and you're grateful for those people, those things that truly matter in your life, it just makes your life that much uh, happier. Um, you know, you got that true source of happiness. And so um, there's a lot of positive benefits that come from practicing positivity and, and appreciation, gratitude. Um, you know, it helps you make you feel more abundant, more grateful, more productive, makes you feel happier. Um, and this is all a mindset thing, right? It's, it's transforming your attitude uh, to a mindset of accepting the abundance mentality, accepting those things that bring positivity to your life. And what's great about it, uh, creating that mindset is that not only do you benefit from it, but the people around you in your life benefit from it because it's contagious, right? People want to, to be positive. People want to be grateful. People want to have that appreciation. And when you practice that on a daily basis, everybody that you come in contact with gets touched by that on a daily basis. Um, and so, you know, I, I live that in my daily life. I do things every, every day that try to, you know, bring, that might bring some appreciation to somebody, you know, complete strangers, you know, I'll help a, an old lady taking her groceries to her car. Um, I'll pay for the person behind me in line when I'm getting my coffee at Starbucks. Uh, you know, there's just a bunch of things that, that you can do on a daily basis that's just gonna bring happiness and joy uh, to other people uh, around you, whether you know them or not. And, you know, it means making a daily habit to be grateful and thankful for everything you appreciate in your life, right? Um, take a few minutes every day and think about those things. Write a list, uh, three to five things a day that you're grateful for. Um, you know, it, it really helps us appreciate what we have now what we can have in the future um, and because we appreciate what we have that in that turn increases the value of those things that bring positivity to our our lives and you know those things the more we appreciate them the more we show people appreciation gratitude the more value it brings to those things in your life yeah Absolutely. The, um, you know, you were talking about uh, all of these things are, there's a law of attraction. Birds of a feather flock together. It's, it's, a, it's a law of attraction, I think. And we, we attract the sort of people that we are. So it's up to us to get the mindset into gear, to be able to understand like that we've, we've got to feel good about ourselves We've got to be appreciative and grateful ourselves so that we can impart some of that enthusiasm and that feeling of, of, of yay with everybody else. I see Martin's got his hand up. Martin, you've got something you want to add? Yeah, I just wanted to mention that um, most evenings, um, Carol and I have a little ritual mm -hmm. and it's something that she... Uh, discovered in in Hawaii when she was visiting um, her stepbrother out there and every evening as the sun goes down they gather and raise a glass um, and basically toast the day and the sunset and the the ritual is to express three things that they're grateful for and that's something Carol and I do on the vast majority of evenings. Um, obviously there are some exceptions. Some things get in the way like Thanksgiving, for example, but, but that was a whole different level of giving thanks. <laughs> but to, at the end of the day, to think through each of you, three things that you're grateful for in that day really does round things off very nicely. And it gives you a sense of, of things that were important to you and are important to you going forward. It's just, a little ritual and it's a nice one i think that's great that's it's the awareness and that's not taking things for granted and and living in the now 
These are all right. part of of our our gratitude. If we if we can focus on the good things that are around us, we will won't even notice the bad things because they they'll be eclipsed by the good things. And I think just being aware and manifesting that, manifesting those things that we feel grateful for. And that's why I say, and, I've, and I agree with you and Carol and the, the ritual that you have, you know, Thanksgiving is a daily exercise. And, and yeah. you know, we, we only realize we, we have something until we lose it. In other words, when I'm, this sounds silly, but what I'm trying to say is that we don't, we often, we often take things for granted so much that we only appreciate them when we lose them. So, so it's important to be able to grow whatever we focus on grows. And if we focus on our, <clears throat> excuse me, our mindset of positivity and, and gratitude, and like my, um, Dan was saying, you know, random acts of kindness, I think that's one of the nicest things we can do just in our small way which are surprises for people for the people that are around us. So, for example, Dan, you know, pays the coffee for the guy at Starbucks. That's wow! What a nice surprise! It opens up the, the it opens up a feel of feeling of goodwill with the people around us, and and these these acts of random acts of kindness, um, I think are are. The, the beginnings of how that can multiply too. When the, the person who's had a coffee paid for him, he will pass it on. In fact, in Italy, there's a, there's even, a, a, I know in the south of Italy, <coughs> excuse me, in the south of Italy, um, it's now coming into the north. They, every, when they go to the bar, the bar in Italy is where you have a coffee, not where you go and have a booze or have booze, but they have, they have a coffee and then they, put in the till, add one. In other words, I want a coffee, add one. They have a coffee, and that additional one is for somebody who can come in and have a coffee and maybe not have the money to pay for it. And that's a tradition that goes on in Italy. It's an add one. It's called add one uh, in that term. So uh, these, are, these are little things, minute things, but they're significant because it people understand that there's still some good people around the world. There's still lots of things to be grateful for. <clears throat> my, my hope, my hope is that by doing those little random acts of kindness, it creates gratefulness and appreciation from somebody who it's going to change. It could change their day for the better. You know, you don't know what's going on in somebody's life, but you know, just by doing that one simple thing can make them, a little bit more grateful, a little bit more appreciative, and then hopefully they're going to pay it forward. So then you get that compound effect, right? Not You're not just affecting one person's day. You could potentially be affecting hundreds of people's day, you know, if those people decide to pay it forward. But, you know, a lot of this gratitude and appreciation, you know, we talk about ego a lot, right? And, and this is completely outside of our, our own ego. We need to not think we're not thinking about ourselves or how this is affecting us. We're thinking about how it affects other people and how we can be appreciate appreciative and have contentment and enjoyment for the things in our life, in our lives. And as you practice that gratitude, that appreciation grows, right? It, it just expands. Um, and, and so, you know, when we feel more positive, that positivity rub, rubs off on others, like I said before. So, you know, having that, and, and there's so many benefits to, to practicing this, practicing this on a daily basis. Um, you know, we, we have more self-confidence. We have uh, more happiness for those things that we have in our life. We're more content with our lives. Um, we're more grateful to others. Uh, and it just goes on and on and on. So, you know, an attitude of gratitude just means creating a conscious mindset, having that mindset that you're going to Make this a habit to be thankful and express uh, appreciation for those things in your life. Every aspect of your life, both big and small, positive uh, uh, things that you have in your life. And <clears throat> one of the things that we also take for granted is the time. But we don't think, we don't, we don't focus on the fact that 
you know, we have a limited time on this world, in this, on, in, uh, on this world, in this world, on this earth. <clears throat> we have a limited time. And one of the things that we can give in a very positive way is our time. If we help people, you know, by donating some of our time, that is also something that we're giving in a way because we have limited time. And we, we're actually quite jealous about what we do with our time. Oh, I want to play sport. Oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. But there are very often things that we can do by um, helping people and giving something back with our time, by giving, you know, helping them with advice or helping them in any, in any possible way, poss in any way possible, we can do things. And time is one of the most precious things we have. In fact, it's probably... Apart from our health, it's probably the most precious thing we have. So gratitude, attitude, thanksgiving, these are all things that, that go hand in hand and where we can help and influence and make a difference with a lot of different people. <clears throat> exactly. Exactly. You get that compound effect, right? Um, but you really want to, you know, surround yourself with people that have that same mindset, right? We talk about the growth mindset versus the, uh, the uh, I forget what the other mindset is, growth, uh, fixed mindset. Um, you know, the more you can surround yourself with people that have that same positivity, those same mindsets, um, the more you're going to see the benefits of, of that, right? And, you know, it's, it's, com it's human nature to want people to to, to, be, to want to feel appreciated and have people feel grateful for things that you do or, or um, you know, but by letting go of that ego um, and being grateful for others and showing them that appreciation. And when you surround yourself with people that, that act similarly, that's all going to come back to you. Right. So, so you're, you know, by surrounding yourself and that's not why you're surrounding yourself with those people, but, but it's all going to come back to you. Um, just as much as you're you're showing it to others and so it's just about changing your thinking um you know you, you commit to a daily gratitude practice and mindset and, and then that thinking is going to change how you feel about yourself your self-confidence your you know letting go of the ego um and, and actively appreciating the things that matter you get more insight on what's really important to you and what's important to others Right? And then you just focus on those things, however small they may be or however big they may be, focusing on them and just being appreciative for what you have. You know, I, there's simple things in our daily lives that we could be appreciative for that we just take for granted, like Lauren said. You know, most of the things in our lives, we just go about our daily lives and we don't think about, you know, those things that make our lives easier or, you know, more worth living or um, bring us happiness you know, all these little tiny things um, can, can lead to a big effect, right? You know, I don't have a lot of huge things that I'm appreciative for in my life. I have a lot of small things that add up to a, uh, to a lot, right? You know, when I'm, I'm happier appreciating those small things that I have. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> if you live in the abundance, then you feel good. It, it, it's, it's just one of those things. The birds of a feather flock together, as I mentioned. It's a, it's a law of attraction. And if you feel good, you attract people that are good. You attract, you attract people that are similar, of similar mindset and so on. If you live in scarcity, then you're living in the woe is me society. And then everybody's complaining about whatever it is. And you, you get involved with that vortex going downwards, spiraling downwards of everything wrong with everything on the planet. But <clears throat> I wanted to also, uh, we, uh, I had um, dinner last night with somebody who uh, is an employee at a very big restaurant. <clears throat> and uh, he's actually a chef. He's a head chef. He's an extremely good cook, chef, obviously. Um, Cordon Bleu and this restaurant has a lot of people working that are from different parts of the, the world even and don't have family here 
And last night at a sit down dinner, which was, it was a massive table we had, um, there were all these different people who didn't have anywhere to go. And he invited them <clears throat> to, the, to the dinner table. And there were people from, you know, from Russia, there were people from Ukraine, from, from Salvador, from all over the place that were all at this dinner table. <clears throat> And I thought that act, random act of kindness was 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 significant because it's it's integrating, and it's just didn't cost well, it cost a few a few a little bit of money, but but it was the act the thought about it the thought what are you doing for Thanksgiving no well you know I'm fine I'll be I'll be okay I'm going to watch TV oh no no come on come for dinner come and have come and participate come and feel you know, be part of it, be, be part of something. Wow, well, I don't really know anybody and I've only been here for a month or something or I've been here for six months, but I work, you know, 14 hours a day type of thing. So random acts of kindness. <clears throat> I think those are, those make us, it's not just to feel good, it's, it's, we should be it. We should actually, you know, be who we are, not just, periodically think it and do it <clears throat> sorry go ahead dan yeah that, that's a great example of you know showing active gratitude so there's you know part of creating this intention of gratitude on a daily basis is actively looking for things to appreciate on a daily basis right active gratitude is very different from reactive gratitude uh, with reactive gratitude you wait for something to happen before you before you appreciate show appreciation for it um, with active gratitude, you're consciously looking for things to be grateful for, things to express your appreciation. Um, and then it, uh, expressing that gratitude becomes a choice, right? Firstly, you know, two things happen when you do that. The first is that the things that people you appreciate grow in value, right? And then you start seeing more things to appreciate. So when you have that intention of having act, showing active gratitude, you know, it's very beneficial from the standpoint of, of being able to be uh, more focused on those things on a daily basis that you actually are grateful for and that bring value or more value to your life. Um, so, you know, all of these things create uh, more positivity, increased positivity in your life and happiness. And then that other positivity also draws in people who want to express similar positivity in their lives, right? And so that we're sharing that gratitude with others and hopefully they're going to go on to share that gratitude and that mindset. So it's all about surrounding yourself with, with, with those same types of people, but then being intentional in the present, right? Developing this, this daily intention uh, for appreciating, give, giving thanks for what you have and where in your life you are right now, right? You can take ownership of the present moment and choose to be grateful or not. These are choices. You know, Lawrence says 70% of non-communicable diseases can be prevented. And a lot of these diseases that we have are diseases of choice. You know, this is just another choice that we make on a daily basis to be more intentional, to show more gratitude, to show more appreciation. And then, you know, taking ownership of the present moment and then being optimistic and positive about the uh, about the present or the future or not, you know, or not being thankful for those things. You know, for, so from a psychological standpoint, you know, it's much more beneficial to show that gratitude than to, or to make that choice to show gratitude and be grateful for those things that you have rather than not choosing not to do that. Yeah, even things that that aren't necessarily at the time um, pleasant, or for example, somebody steals from you. You know, the Dalai Lama said, "Thank that person." What? Thank the person who just stole from you? Yes, he taught you a lesson. It's a lesson that you're gonna you've learned, and and be grateful for something that you've just learned. You've just had a a, a, a difficult lesson, but but you've learned from it. So be grateful for that. And the intention and be intentional in the present, you know, <clears throat> I've always tried to um, be aware, for example, just walking to the car to get to go somewhere, just notice that it's, 
you know, a beautiful day, the clouds, you listen to the birds, you listen to the smell of the, the, the flowers or the, the, the clean air. Think about living in India, in some of these places, man, they can't even see each other, never mind breathe. The, the, the smog is so bad, the pollution is so terrible that, that in fact, in, even in places like Mexico, they've, the, the uh, bird life has kind of dwindled because of the carbon monoxide poisoning at that altitude of Mexi in Mexico City. So just small things of where we are and, and the clear, as you said, Dan, you know, having drinking water and, and, and just the things we have, it's just so many. That it's a really a list, a big list of abundance in which we live. And we've got to have Thanksgiving for that every single day and that it and by by being aware and by being um you know in, intentional in the present i think that's where we expand it and and we live with with feelings of of joy and feelings of of gratitude attitude gratitude that's what it's all about absolutely you know a, a year ago almost well a week a week previous to a year ago um I was in the ICU for seven days, you know, and I, you know, I didn't know at that time if I was going to be here this year, you know, looking back on it, you know, there's a good possibility I couldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be here this year um, with the things that I had going on health wise. Um, you know, one of the people that I'm really grateful for is Kate, my partner, you know, Kate took care of me for seven days when I couldn't take care of myself. She advocated me for me for seven days when I couldn't take care of myself. You know, and I'm thankful for that and appreciative of that every single day. I mean, she did she did things for me that, you know, most people wouldn't do uh, when when you're kind of out of it and, you you know, semi-conscious for seven days. And, you know, I'm really, really appreciative that I'm here today. Um, and I'll never stop being grateful for, for having one more day on, on this planet. You know, yesterday I saw a little... A little thing on my on my WhatsApp, I think, and it said the, the thing was, um, would you be happy if I gave you a million dollars? The person says, "Oh yeah, I'd be delighted. He'd be really, really happy. Be delighted. I love it." And uh, and would you be happy if I gave you ten million dollars, but with a condition? Ten million? What? Oh, be great that'd be phenomenal what's the condition the condition is that you wouldn't wake up the next day is your worth is your life worth 10 million dollars so it's a silly example but what i'm saying is you know what's the what put a value on on being able to wake up in the morning it's 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 huge i mean we just to be able to get up in the morning to be able to be present how much is that worth? It's worth more money than anybody can put because it's we've only got one life and we've only got one, one chance at it. And if we don't take advantage of that one chance and we don't look after what we've got, that asset of, of our time, of our, of our being, of ourselves, of who we are, you know, I used to, when I was a kid, I used to have this saying, life is a speeding wave of time with peaks and troughs. When we, what we, when we die, what we take with us, or what we leave behind is up to how we've lived, something like that. And this is what it's about. It's about, you know, what's going to be on your epitaph, on your tombstone? How would you like to be remembered? You know, these are all things that that are just food for thought. And and I think the basic thing of all that is attitude, gratitude, mindset. This is what this is really all about, in my opinion. Absolutely. <laughs> um, it's five after ten. Right. If, uh, Sorry, love, I didn't to some, that. love to take some comments and uh, questions, whatever anybody uh, would like to contribute. I'm very grateful for this group. 
I, I have to say I'm very grateful for this group. I'm grateful, Dan, that you came through the challenges that you had. Um, you are a huge contributor, as is Lawrence, as are many of the people on this call today. And I'm very grateful for all of them, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. I ditto that, Martin. I mean, I was just wonderful, wonderful group. Yeah. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dan, Martin, uh, Didi, for your comments. Blessings to everybody. <clears throat> and uh, let's just knock it out of the park this month and end of the year and look forward to making your plans for 2022. Blessings awesome. to everybody. Total success. Thanks, Dan. Thanks. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks, everyone.